Let's begin by fetching the first page of news stories and putting it in our home page. So we know that if we want to use a browser API like Fetch, we have to bring it into our project to be able to make Fetch calls on the server. So we'll begin by installing isomorphic Fetch. There's two different packages, isomorphic Fetch and isomorphic unfetch. They both do the same thing of giving us the Fetch API, which we can use on the server. So once that's done installing, we can start our dev script again. Up at the top of index, we'll bring in fetch from isomorphic fetch. We know that if we want to make requests as early as possible, we can use the static method get initial props. We'll make sure to add the static keyword if we're executing it within the class. And we'll once again use the async await syntax for our promise. We'll await fetch and then use the endpoint https node hn api dot heroku app dot com and to get the first page of stories back from the this api you can do slash news as our path and use the query param page set to one to get the first page of results we know that if we use this await syntax if this resolves successfully the result is put in a variable which we'll call response so we'll get back our response and then we'll await parsing the JSON data with the response.json, and we'll put that in a variable which we'll call, let's say, stories. And to put that data that we're hopefully getting back from this call in our props object, we just need to return an object with the stories in it. So let's save that and head over to our browser. We'll open our React DevTools and navigate to our index component. And looks like in our props object, we get a stories property with an array of 30 results, 30 stories. So this is our first page of results from the Hacker News API. However, what if we get an error? What if there's a problem in fetching the data? There's a problem in getting data from a certain endpoint, the endpoint that we're requesting our stories from well, to mimic that, to mimic the service being unavailable, just use an invalid endpoint, and we'll see what happens. So it looks like we're getting this ugly error, invalid JSON response body, unexpected token in JSON. So we want to be able to handle errors like this. If we're having a problem getting data from our endpoint, we want, we want to be able to take care of that so the user doesn't see something nasty like that. To handle errors with async await functions, we can use the try catch. We can use a try catch in order to try getting our data in the try part and catch any errors. And for now, we can just console log the errors. But now you might see in your code editor that our stories variable is faded out a bit, meaning it's not available to return from the very end of our function at the given scope. So we need to move it up one level, at least this stories variable. So instead of using const, where we can't reassign stories, we're going to use let and we'll then reassign the values of the value of stories from undefined to the data that we get back from the request if it's successful. So that will allow us to successfully pass stories to our props. And in the case of an error, in addition to logging the error, we're going to set stories to an empty array. We're going to be iterating over our stories, so setting it to an empty array will allow us to not get any errors when it comes to looping over something that's not iterable. Say, for example, we're just giving it the value undefined. So now, Let's try this out. Let's see if we're now able to recover from this error. So this is a good sign. We're able to see our hacker next text that we're showing in our div. If we go to index. We see that the stories property is set to an array with no items in it. And if we check our console here in the client, we won't get anything. We'll get an unrelated warning. But if we look at our terminal, you can see 
because we are qu requesting this data on the server side with get initial props, we see that our error appears here now. So because we're getting an error with get initial props, I believe Next is aware of this and is making a request for our error page. So an even better way to recover from this is to use the built-in error page with Next. So in index, up at the top, we can import error from next slash error. And then in our render, instead of displaying our div when there's an error on the server side, we can check our stories array to see if it's empty. And if so, if we don't have any stories, we'll show it. We'll show the error page. So we'll grab stories from props. We'll destructure it. Then we'll add a conditional to take stories, its length, and see if it's equal to zero. And in that case, return error, our error component, our error page. And in fact, we don't have to create our own custom underscore error page in our pages directory. We're given this error component to which we can, by default, pass a status code. It has its own status code property. So in this event, if we're not able to successfully get data back from the API, we can pass it a status code of 503, which means service unavailable. And now with all that, let's test this out. Let's save our file. And immediately when we head back, we can see we get a 503 error, 503 status code in our error page saying that the service is unavailable. So those are a couple of ways to handle errors, recover from them. And now we'll just head back and fix our endpoint, change it back to slash news, and pass it a page query param of one. And now just to throw our stories on the page for now, let's within our div put hacker next in a set of h1 tags and underneath we'll map over the stories and we'll put them in their own separate div we'll map over each story and for now let's just show each story title in their own h2 We'll give it the key of story.id.